All right, hey, here's a pretty common problem. We need to get a beam uh, plumbed up before we nail them together. Once you nail these two layers together, uh, it's gonna be what it is. So if this thing is lean this way, which it is, and we pin it together, it is forever gonna be lean that way. So what I like to do before I pin girder boards together like this is check the plumb. And you can see that it's leaned that way at the top pretty hard. Right there is plumb. So before I nail it together, I'm gonna take a big bar clamp I'm going to pull it to its plumb and then fasten it and it should stay. Yep. All right. <laughs> that got it actually, that's too far. Okay, so now that that is actually plumb surface, I'm gonna actually fasten this really well. And it should stay plumb and right where I want it. And actually, that flushed the tops as well. So that did two things in one shot for me. All right, in addition to getting this beam uh, plumb this way, we also want to get all the layers of it flush on top and on bottom if we can. Uh, this last layer we just added is a little low, so I'm going to show you a trick I've got both the ends tacked. I'm gonna drive this screw. I'm gonna use my hammer as a lever. So I'm gonna drive that a little further. So you can see that now I can pull this board up in relation to the other boards. So I'm gonna do that while I fasten it. All right, now we're flush on the top, FOT. I just pull that screw out and I can reuse it. Those are about like eight cents each, by the way. Reuse them as much as I can. And I learned that trip from a guy named Dave Stolzfus. He was an awesome carpenter and uh, older guy than me. He taught me some cool tricks. That was one of them. That's why I call that move the Stolzfus.